Hey everyone, welcome to our bug repel class. Let's dive in. So first, of course, I want to recommend that you cleanse your skin with nothing else except our prebiotic body wash. If you're new to lemongrass, then you might not know that if you wash exclusively with the prebiotic wash, you're going to see some wonderful benefits. Our family personally can testify that we have noticed that when we wash entirely from head to toe, that includes your hair and everything, and don't use any of those other um, cleansers, that what happens is the prebiotic works its magic. And the prebiotic recipe is designed to wash away the bad bacteria and feed the good bacteria, which, as you may know, creates a healthy microbiome on your skin. That invisible shield is wonderful for so many reasons. Um, one of those reasons for our family has been that we've noticed the bugs like to visit, they like to land, and they like to fly away without biting. So, do we get bit? Yes, we do, but not as much or anywhere near as much as we used to. In fact, funny story, my newborn uh, was out in the uh, very bug-ridden air. We used to live on a watershed. And I couldn't figure out why she was getting um, no bites at all, nothing, zero, and I was getting bit up when she is from a, you know, genetically from more of a, a, a bloodline that got bit more often. So I started investigating and, of course, the prebiotic wash was the culprit, so we all started washing with prebiotic wash. So it's that time of year, it's spring 2022 here today, and so we have started washing with the prebiotic wash head to toe, haven't we? Yes, we have. And so next thing we want to talk about is ingredients to use on a regular basis to prevent bugs. Um, now, of course, we can't say um, that this is going to prevent ticks. Uh, we don't want to put anybody in a situation where they could um, be bitten, but the best thing for bugs altogether is to shield yourself. That could be with uh, making sure you're covered, although mosquitoes will bite through fabric, as you probably know. Um, and so uh, moving on past that, we do have uh, recommendations for different um, essential oils to be looking for in your products. And we want you to be mindful that every single year, those essential oils um, capacity to uh, repel bugs is going to be different because uh, mosquitoes, for example, do um, cre uh, establish a, an ability to um, uh, not be affected by the same ingredients every year. So you'll notice that bug repellent ingredients change every year. So you do want to replace your bug repellent every single year because companies should be um, respecting the research when it comes to what is repelling bugs this year. Um, so what's really cool is all you need to do is look at your handy lemongrass bug spray for the new year and find out what is working. So on here, you want to look at catnip, citronella, cedarwood, and geranium as effective bug repellent ingredients. And I did a lot of reading and I found that for the most part, essential oils work for two to four hours. So when you're using a, a natural bug spray, what you want to do is you want to shake it and you want to spray it from the head to toe and it's safe for baby to breathe in. It's safe for mommy. It's safe for everyone to breathe in. So that's the plus. The downside is you do want to apply it every two to four hours. So head to toe again, head to toe and then again head to toe because it's again not aerosol we respect the environment aerosol is not good for the environment so it's a spray and that means that the spray droplets will will um, drop on your skin you can move it around if you need to and and spray it again I've watched some pretty interesting um, uh, research uh, interviews and uh, the one I posted one link the one thing that uh, you'll read on there is, how, you know, they recommend you not to use DEET and how to not use DEET and how to use DEET. They also um, highlight some of the dangers of using DEET and they say, don't spray your clothes. You don't need to spray your clothes. Well, mosquitoes bite through clothing. And so this one is safe all the way around to breathe in. You can spray it all over. You can spray it multiple times um, and uh, more is good with deep more is not good. So 
some pluses there. Another really cool thing when I was doing my research, I was looking up um, different essential oils that last for at least two or more hours. And I noticed that our Sedona collection includes a lot of those ingredients, specifically the Sedona hair mist, which I love because bugs will bite your skin, right? But they'll also bite your hair and this smells wonderful. So you can use this on your hair if you'd rather have a different scent, although people do like the Bugaboo scent, the Sedona scent. Uh, I like to describe the Sedona line scent as walking into your favorite incense shop, that smell. You know what I'm talking about. That's how Sedona smells. I love it. And the essential oil properties are um, uh, do have a lot of um, positives to them, including bug repellent. So look up the positive benefits to that uh, double Anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Look up the benefits to sandalwood, um, vet vetiver, clary sage, patchouli, lavender, and geranium. And I know you all have this friend that wore patchouli all the way through high school, right? And you could smell them down the hallway. I had one. And if you're watching, yes, I'm talking about you. Love you, but we could smell you around the corner. Um, but this does not scent, this does not smell like patchouli. Our, our engineers know how to put together a scent that is beautiful. And sometimes you need the properties of something like patchouli to get to the next scent level. So Sedona, I highly recommend it. I have not looked at the ingredients, um, to the other, um, collections as closely as I have to the Sedona. And that's because there were so many of these ingredients we're highlighting today in the Sedona collection. Last but not least, let's talk about when you itch. Maybe it's bugs, maybe it's poison ivy, maybe you got bit by something and you're itching or you're irritated from something that's going on that is summer, spring, sweat, whatever it is related. Healing elements bomb, it will stop the itch. Um, what I, I, I've always experienced immediately. Um, my customers have said immediately sunburn, it will apply, you know, like severe sun, sunburn, apply it three times a day. Um, their delicious goes on with healing elements bomb. So why not have this in your bag ready to use, not just for you, but for your loved ones, all the people around you that need, um, some relief. And of course, we don't want you to put our products in the heat or in the sun because they're made with real plant ingredients. And so we recommend that you have a cool cooler bag in your car. And let me tell you, in summertime, you're going to be glad you did because when you spray the cool Sedona spa spray or the cool Bugaboo spray or put the cool Healing Almonds Balm on your skin, you're going to be so glad you did. And if you want more tips on how to stay cool in summer, let me know. Thanks for joining us on our bug repellent class today. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.